Uh, yeah, welcome and welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast, Wednesday night, live. Yeah, it started off with a soft clap. Yeah, 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 I had, to, I, had to, I had to hit the slider on the mixer, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that uh, that the slider was down low, but um, what's going on, everybody? I uh, appreciate, uh, appreciate you uh, checking with us on this Wednesday night. Um, well, this is our normal Wednesday night show, but uh, I think we got some pretty good topics lined up for you guys today, and uh, I'm sure we're going to get into some debate, but uh, what else is new here on the Format Podcast? It's all good. I got my guys dude. with me, of course. I got the Transformer. What's good, Transformer? What's good, my boy? Maintaining, maintaining. And of course, I got my main man, G. G, what's good? What's going on, fam? Hey, holding it down, holding it down. So, um... Yeah, we got uh we got some good topics. Uh, y'all want to wait a couple minutes? See if we get a see if we get a couple more people in the chat before we start uh, going. Yeah, man, get these folks ready. Get these folks awake. <laughs> All right, tune in. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. It's the it's pick 'em time. It is pick 'em time. That's it right. Pick 'em time. It is pick 'em time. Man, I, I tell you what, um, these are some good topics tonight, man. I, I think um I think we're going to uh, definitely have some good discussion on these, man. This um. Psst. Your man Aaron Rodgers, man. Oh no, oh, I'm no. have to dial back my temperament on that one. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that, man, that, uh, yeah, I'll get to it, man. That's that's just definitely, crazy. definitely. Yeah, Stephen that's A. Smith crazy. out here with the BS, really disturbing. Really speaking disturbing. facts. He's not speaking no facts, man. Speaking facts. He's not speaking facts, and we'll, we'll get to it. I could be objective I, of LeBron James, but I could respect. I can too. At the same time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm a grease the skids to get my kid in this mug. Goddamn Skippy, man. <laughs> All right. Salute, we'll, Steve. We'll, yes, sir. We'll definitely, definitely talk about that. I'm looking forward to that topic. And then, of course, <laughs> is Lamar Jackson already top five all time? Whoa. Yeah. We, we know who's warn uh, everybody before we even get started <laughs> on that conversation. Like, this is G's segment. That's going to be G's segment alone. I'm just mm-hmm. going to let that man cook. <laughs> Uh, no, it's if actually a good to topic. And and be like, hey man, G, am I allowed? Can I chime in? Hey, it's it's, it's actually up? worth it's, it's actually man. worth the discussion because uh Lamar is a he's one of the most special players we've ever seen. It's actually worth the discussion. So yeah, looking forward to having that one too. Sid Bubba, what's cracking? Man, said his boys is in the building. We in the house. There it is, there it is. We in the house. There it is. Um, all right, I guess we we'll go ahead and uh we'll we'll get it um uh, we'll get it going. Uh all right. Um so NCAA as we mentioned we got some, proves elimination of the again? national letter of intent. So, yeah, but, man. Yeah, I, I thought that was very interesting. They just got um, rid of the national letter. I saw that. I saw that. Let's hang on one second and we'll get right to that. But before we get started, y'all. You know what time it is. You know what you got to do. If you're here on YouTube and you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead, click that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Make sure you're kept up to date whenever we drop new content on the channel. If you want the audio-only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, hit the search bar, type in the format podcast, and we should come right up if you're enjoying the content make sure you give us that like that five star review and drop a comment all that stuff helps us rise in the algorithm helps us find more sports fans helps more sports fans find us and finally make sure you write it down put it in your phone set an alarm do whatever you got to do to remember saturday nights at 7 p.m we are live here on the format podcast and we'll give you the opportunity to call in talk to us get at me i love it i can't wait you guys are here for the week six pickums um yes. and let's see what you guys got so when i say these teams you know what I mean? Put your guys' picks in the chat. We're going to go ahead and discuss a little bit about them briefly on why we chose them. We're going to go into Thursday, October 10th. San Fran is going to be traveling to Seattle and Geno Smith, 815. G, who you got, my brother? Man, that was a tough one, man. Very 49ers. Tough. Uh, man. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with the Niners on this one. Going to go with the Niners? Yeah, I'm going to go with the Niners. All right. Bruce. Yeah. Oh, I want to go with the Niners, man. Does this seem to you like there's there's more injuries earlier this season, or is it me? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. I was trying to trying to figure out what's going on with yes. that. That is, that is odd. Without a um, doubt. Yeah, Niners you coming can't... off. Yeah, my bad. It's, a, it's it's kind of always like that, right? Like you see when players don't really 
don't really take care of their body during the off season, and then you know here we are week five, and we had like old oh, hamstrings, and yeah, and then almost everybody's getting hurt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, and we're talking like the big time players forever. too, man. That's it's probably, been mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ch- change the whole dynamics of your team. That's really, literally, like, really does. <laughs> literally, yeah. Um, we rolling with Bruce. San Francisco in a tight one, but that's so iffy because I think it's going to be tight and their freaking place kickers out. So I don't yeah, even Moody, know. Yeah, Moody is uh, what do you yeah. call his hamstring? I think. It's yeah, I believe his so. Knee. I think mm-hmm. his knee or his hamstring, one to two. Mm-hmm. All right, um, I'm gonna yeah, roll with um. Right. Oh, you went with San Fran. Let me go ahead and mm-hmm. keep the streak going. Both of y'all picked a team last week on Thursday. I'm gonna ride with Seattle on this one, man. Uh, I do think San Fran is really desperate to get a dub. Um, I think especially so. seeing how they went scoreless in the second half last game against yeah. uh, the Arizona Cardinals. But Seattle still has a high-powered offense. They got great they corners over there on the defense. Um, well, Tariq Woolen's not playing, so. You said what? Tariq Woolen, I think, is out. Let me double-check that. Uh, let me see. I believe he's I believe he's out. Um, you believe yes, he's out? Tariq Woolen is not playing. He's out. Okay. Well, either way, I think they still got to get enough defense. Okay. (laughs) I think they still got to get enough defense. Um, So I'm going to go ahead and roll with Seattle on that one. All right. Mm -hmm. So San Fran, San Fran, Seattle. I like starting off where we all, where we can disagree. All right. We're going to move on over to Sunday, 930. I believe this is the London game as well. The hot Jacksonville Jaguars playing the Bears at 930 (laughs) a.m. Who you got? (laughs) Who you got, Bruce? How they gonna be hot, man? They just had their first win in like almost. Bro, a they hot. Fist grease. I mean, hot fist grease, baby. Um, hey. Duval, let's go. All right, mm-hmm. Jags, I'm with it. I'm with it, Sid Bubba. I'm with it. I'm oh, with it, man. A lot of a lot of weapons. Uh, a lot of weapons aren't at a hundred percent, but. Um, Travis Etienne might not play. He's questionable. Uh, mm-hmm. Evan Ingram is questionable. Gabe Davis is questionable. That's tough, man. These these injuries. And I don't believe in Jacksonville at all. I don't believe mm-hmm. in um, Trevor Lawrence. I'm not sure. I'm feeling like, uh, unfortunately, Doug Peterson may have lost the locker room here. And I think I want to go with the Bears. Caleb Williams, is, I'm sure his confidence has really risen coming off the best game of his career last week. Um, Looks like, oh, Jaquan Brister's out. Um, the Bears are the less injured team. They're the healthier team. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go with the Bears. All right, he's going to go with the Bears. Mm-hmm. We got G. I got the Bears. He has the Bears. All right, well, let me go ahead and crack y'all spirits real quick. I got Duval in a win in London, okay? okay. One thing about Duval, right? We know how to travel to London and have a great time, all right? Yes, have sir. a great time, show out, but we also mm-hmm. win the football game. We're talking Caleb Williams going to London. Caleb Williams. Don't you think he's going to get a little distracted? I think he's going to get a little distracted, all right? He's not going to be mildly processed on the football game. He thinks he's going to oh, go and think. beat the Jags. It's going to be sound. I believe he's going to go out there, get distracted, and lose this football game, man. So I got Jacksonville going to London and coming back two and, what, four? Two and four. Mm-hmm. <laughs> coming back two and four. All right? Going to move on over. Easy pick for me, so I'm not even I'm gonna go and get mine out of the way. You already see the hat on. We got Arizona mm-hmm. traveling to Green Bay at one o'clock. Who you got, G? You were wrong last time. Oh, I'm gonna man. help you out this time. Yeah, I was, man. Who I had um you had the Rams. You go with Arizona on us. That's sad. <laughs> in Green Bay. I'm gonna let you I'm gonna give you a second chance. They're in yeah. Green Bay. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes, all right. G, who you got, bro? I mean, not G, uh, Bruce. I got Green Bay. Um, I'm not super confident, but I do have Green Bay. A little concerned about Jordan Love this year. Uh, <laughs> only completing 56% of his passes so far. I mean, he has had injuries, so he's working his way back from that. Uh, eight touchdowns, five picks. Um, not great, but he is, he is thrown for 291 yards a game, so that's, you know, that's p- pretty solid. An interesting stat I just found out today. He's 10 and 11 in his career as a starter. So um, hopefully he gets that under control. 
but I'm going to go with, with Green Bay in a close one. And Green you know Bay why, too? Because they're going to win that turnover battle because we see what the best secondary in football does. Now, they may not necessarily be the best secondary in terms of like yardage completely locking down the opponent, but that's mm-hmm. okay for me when you can consistently take the football away um, from your opposition. And you're not supposed to live and die on getting interceptions and getting turnovers, but it's like every game they'll get you at least one. So, yeah, you know, I no, would be absolutely. surprised if that didn't happen again somewhere this week, whether it's a, an interception or you get some sort of fumble recovery, strip sack, something. So um, the way Green Bay has been able to supplement their offense by giving them extra possessions with the turnovers, I'm, I'm going to go with the Packers. Easy day. Uh, I agree with everything you just said. I mean, we find a way to turn over the football mm-hmm. um, from the defensive side. And I think yeah. that we can get Kyler Murray to do the exact same. Um, him trying to force feed uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. Yeah. Uh, I believe Jair is uh, going to be close to coming back this game. So, you know, we'll be happy to bring him back. But even without Jair in the last two weeks, we found a way to get another pick after pick after pick. Xavier McKinney is five mm-hmm. games in a row where he has interception. Um, the team is top five in, in sacks this year. I, I, they're doing one hell of a job in, uh, on the wow. defensive side of the ball. It's just getting Jordan Love and the offense to, to click a little bit sooner rather than later. Hopefully we start off smart like we did um, in the second half against the Rams. Run a freaking mm-hmm. football, man. We're so much better when, it's, when, yeah. when we're running a freaking football. We got Josh Jacobs. Um, Emmanuel Wilson is doing a great job as our backup. He wasn't even supposed to be our backup. He was supposed to be Marshawn Lloyd, but – He's doing one hell of a job. If we start off with the run game and threaten them with the run first, pass later, we could probably beat them by 10. I say if we if we continue that. But if we continue to just put the ball in, in Jordan Love's hands early and passing on first downs, then we're going to be behind mm-hmm. the sticks on a lot of occasions, and we're allowing that Arizona team to get on the field and score some points. So I, I agree with what you said, man. I got Green Bay. All right, we're going to move on over to game four, Indianapolis and the Colts. I'm not sure if Anthony Richardson is going to be able to play, but it's looking <laughs> like they're trying to trend him towards that. But they're going to be traveling to Tennessee against the Titans. G, who you got? Uh, oh, man, that's another tough one. Sheesh. Um, man, so if Flacco play, I'm going with the Colts. I like it. Flacco doesn't play, I'm going with the Colts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so either way, you got the Colts. Yeah. yeah. Okay. G, uh, Bruce, I, I really hope they don't rush oh, that no, kid man. out. Oh, I hope they don't rush him out on the field, man. I think uh, Joe, I saw something where Joe was giving him some insight on. He talked about how I saw that too. Uh, you saw that? Yeah. yeah he yeah, pretty yeah. much was. He was explaining in a press conference on um, how you know when you hurt. You never want to see the other guy take your position, right? And so oh, yeah, the Lamar you're always like, yeah, always rushing yourself back and such. And so I, I really hope the kid don't rush himself back because you know, old man Joe, seventeen years, set seventeen years in the uh, in the league, you shouldn't have to worry about his, his start position. But you know, once you start winning, that's it. They lost, unfortunately, they lost last week. Mm-hmm. Um, but yep. it was a close one. Yep. All right, Bruce, what you got. Yep. I got the Colts, although it's not going to be an easy one. Uh, I definitely think that uh, even if Anthony Richardson was healthy, I wouldn't be rushing him back because January Joe is clearly a better player at this point. So I'm saying let let AR have some time to continue to develop and learn. Um, I'm just looking, though, it's not going to be easy. Like I said, uh, Titans number one in the league in total defense, number one in the league in passing defense. Uh, they are middle of the pack in rush defense uh, at number 15 and number 15 at scoring defense. But overall, their defense is very solid. Number eight in red zone defense. So points are going to be hard to come by in this one, but which is why I think that the better move is to let an experienced guy like Flacco have this game and not rush back your young guy who has clearly shown he's not ready yet. So, yeah, I'm going to go with the Colts. Okay. Uh, You guys both going with the Colts. I'm going to go with Tennessee on this one. All right. One. I think they're going to try to get this kid back, right? You want to see what he is. You you spent your first-round pick last season on him. You need more time to see and develop and see what he has. They're not smart enough to try to keep Joe Flacco out there. They're not trying to win football games. They're just trying to get a good beat. I mean, look at what they have as far as the future stands, right? I don't believe – um What's my running back? Uh, Jonathan Taylor. I don't believe mm-hmm. he's going to play as well. He's still dealing with that high ankle sprain. 
So that's mm-hmm. also going to be a caveat. They weren't able to effectively run the football last game. So I dare that they'll try to do anything different against the Tennessee Titans. And if you're throwing the football as much as the Tennessee Titans have a great defense, you got uh, Ladarius, Ladarius Sneed in that mm-hmm. backfield. I mean, in that uh, secondary, you know, he can he can threaten it and make it, make it a problem for you. So I might get Tennessee in a close one here. And, uh, yeah, with, with the premise of that, uh, I believe Anthony Richardson is going to play. I believe Jonathan Taylor is not going to play. And, uh, you know, I think Tennessee has enough to get it done. All right. All right. Moving on over. I think this is an easy one for all of us because we know this, tam- this team is tanking. I'm not sure if Jared Ambrose is in the chat. But Houston and C.J. Stroud are going to be traveling to New England. And we get to see the rookie. Yep. We get to see the rookie Drake yep. May play mm-hmm. in his first start. In college, I mean, in 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 the in the, in the NFL. Excuse me. What do you got, uh, G? Texans. Easy money. Bruce. <laughs> a layup, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a layup. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna not make this a layup, right? I'm gonna pick New England. Mm. I'm gonna pick New England, man. I think Drake May is gonna come out and have one hell of a game. Um, I, I see him getting about 350 yards, about four nah. touchdowns. And, uh, oh, my bad. I'm thinking about C.J. Stroud, bro. My bad. I'm looking at the wrong <laughs> quarterback. I'm looking at the... <laughs> All right. All my right. bad. I was I was reading C.J. Stroud's numbers. My bad, bro. Mm-hmm. So, Houston. Houston in the, in the landslide um, in New England. So, we don't have to spend too much time <laughs> on that one. Moving <laughs> on over. This is going to be one of the games I'm going to be watching um, at 1 o'clock along with the Green Bay game. Tampa Bay and Baker Maker, Baker the Maker Mayfield is going to be traveling to New Orleans against Spencer Rattler. Who we got, Bruce? Um, I got I got Tampa Bay, Baker Baker yep. touchdown maker. Um, yep. but I think Spencer Rattler may have a better performance than many are anticipating. I don't think he's going to light it up, but I think he's going to play all right. But uh, Baker played well coming off of, well, he played well for some of that game against Atlanta. but And I'm sure that uh, Tampa Bay is anxious, chomping at the bit, and especially they're they're looking at Atlanta, who right now is going to have the, the lead in the division. So you don't want to lose two straight division games in any situation. But, um, True. yeah, I, I think that uh, they're definitely going to have the advantage. And um, even though the Saints have a really good defense that Rattler's been going against, I'm sure – Todd Bowles is going to have some things to throw at him and confuse the young fella in his in his first NFL start. So, uh, going with Tampa Bay. Easy day, G. Yeah, Tampa Bay at the Saints. Yep, Saints home. Tampa Bay. Saints at home. Yep, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. I like the simplicity that Gino is rolling with. I got Tampa Bay as well. I don't know what Spencer Rattler is going to look like. Tampa Bay is angry. I mean, yes. <laughs> Baker Mayfield is a little upset himself. Yes. Um, he had one of one of close, if not one of the most perfect games in his career, mm-hmm. and they lose in overtime by a guy who throws for, uh, for five hundred and six yards. <laughs> and Baker May- Baker Mayfield never touches the ball in overtime, so nope. I think that's going to be an angry Todd Bowles Baker Mayfield team that's going to be walking out there on that field, and they're gonna they're gonna I think they're gonna cook the Orleans at home. All right. Um, Moving on over, we have two more one o'clock games. We have Cleveland and what's left of the misogynist Deshaun, I mean, Deshaun Watson traveling to Philadelphia. (laughs) (laughs) What? I got nothing to say (laughs) about that. (laughs) Peace. Oh, all right. Deshaun Watson and the Cleveland Browns travel to Philly Yo. against the coming off of a bye. Philly hurts. I mean, Philly hurts. Jesus. Jalen hurts. Philly hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Who you got, G? Oh, it's with me, uh, Eagles. Yeah, it's with Eagles. Eagles. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I believe that's an easy pick. Who you got, Bruce? Oh, man, I got Philly. Can I just right, say I, real quick that go ahead that Deshaun Watson contract is, is, is quickly and continually showing itself to be the worst contract in history. Just terrible. Ooh. But anyway, Steve, you got you got Cleveland close. A little what? little bias there, buddy. Yes, yeah, divisional bias. 
Maybe. All right, Sid Bubba, Philly. I like it. I'm going to roll with Philly as well. Um, they're coming off of a bye. They're a little bit fresher. Mm. Um, yeah. I think they're getting stuff together. They're getting their pieces back. A.J. Brown, uh, Devontae Smith is supposed to be on their way back. So um, I think it's going to be, thank God, hallelujah type of game for them. Um, they're going <laughs> right. to be at home. They got their players back, and I think they're going to beat Cleveland in the landslide. Cleveland has nothing <laughs> for me to bet on them anymore this year about. I don't see uh, – they don't play New, New England for the rest of the year, right? <laughs> Deshaun innocent. Deshaun. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna respond to that, That's but I think he is. But go ahead, though. <laughs> ah, but anyway, <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, whew. what does innocent mean? Oh. Does it mean he didn't do it? Oh, he did it. He didn't pay. <laughs> <laughs> It means the man didn't commit a crime. I think we're all in agreement on that. Steve, why, bro? Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, can we mute people in the chat in the comment section? Can we mute them? Hey, Steve, bro, you about to get muted, bro. We're we trying to do a show here. We're trying oh. to focus. <laughs> I heard Deshaun Watson was on on the hook on that song with uh, R. Kelly and Jay Z. Right? Stop it! No, I'm too, I'm too. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Next they're gonna next they're gonna find footage of Deshaun at a Diddy party. Oh, like, relax, bro. Whoa! With the baby all talking about massage time, everybody. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> Let's move on. All right, no party let's, like move a party. let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Right? <laughs> Ain't no party like a diddy party. All right. Oh. So, uh, final game of one o'clock. I'm not even going to ask you guys. I know where you're going oh. with the pick, but I am curious to see how you're going to make this pick. Washington mm. and the red hot rookie and are traveling to Baltimore in the hot fire. Top five quarterback of all time in G's eyes, Lamar Jackson. Bruce, I'm gonna start off with you because I'm gonna let G just have the rest of the time to get off. All right, cool. Well, like, why you start with me? But, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick <clears throat> Baltimore here. Um, I think this game probably gets into the 30s. Um, oh, I'm gonna I'll go with so Baltimore, too. and I just think that um, Washington is looking at they're they're a really good football team this year so far. I think we can see that mm. uh, the kid, um, the rookie, is playing extremely well. Has a chance to be. Uh, He's the front runner for rookie of the year, obviously yep. offensive rookie of the year, playing extremely well. Uh, doesn't really turn the ball over. He can run it. He can throw it. But um, this is a different animal. And my game plan going into this would be much as it would be with, with the Chiefs if I'm Baltimore. And that's really run the football with Lamar and Derrick Henry and Justice Hill and these guys. And um, just, just you know, keep, keep the kid on the sideline. Keep Terry McLaurin on the sideline because that Washington offense has some explosive elements. So you – and and Baltimore is not very good against the pass this year, so you want to try and keep play keep away from them for uh, as long as you can. So yeah, you definitely want to um you want to be a physical 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 team here at the point yep. of attack. And I think Baltimore they appear and Todd Munkin appears or John Harbaugh has given them the order that um you know continue to run the football and uh, that should take care of that. So yeah, I got Baltimore. That's my thought. I like it. I'm going to go ahead and say, G, before you go, I'm going to say mine. Baltimore. All right, G, go. <laughs> Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore. Rookie Easy day. Rookie quarterback. Um, just brought Dean Pease on. The assist. Yeah, that's all that. With, um, play calling. Uh, we should be seeing that's him. Big. I think last week it was uh, it was rough for our defense. Mm -hmm. And so if we show up with that same defense from last mm -hmm. week, I think the rookie goes crazy, right? However, Lamar is going to play to up to whatever the, the other quarterback is playing. So that's what's going to mm -hmm. make this a really good game. Yeah. Um, but somebody going to get exposed. <laughs> somebody yeah. going to get exposed. So it just depends on how well Zach will prepare the guys because Shorty can make all the throws. Um, McDaniels, that's that McDaniels, right? Yeah. That's, that's his name. Jaden Daniels. Jay, yep. Jay mm -hmm. McDaniels. I remember Jayden, his mom. Jaden Daniels. Jaden Daniels. There it is. Um, <clears throat> let me put some respect there. Uh, the kid can make every throw um, with, with his arms, and, and you know he pretty much do really well with his legs. He's he's been on fire all year, and so 
Um, just interested in seeing how our defense play up against them. That's that's it's mm-hmm. a really big challenge, but we've been challenged all year. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like to see um, how Derrick Henry runs up against the you know the Commanders. I think that's going to be a big uh, one of our biggest keys to victory. You know, controlling the ball, controlling the time, controlling the clock, mm-hmm. um, time of possession, I should say. Um, but yeah, yeah, that, and and yeah, that's a really good. Um, Really good point, but he's never played up against Jade McDaniel. So I think that's that's what's gonna be the test. Because this kid, they they I mean they almost like mirror image almost, you know, when it comes to uh, what they're able to do so far. I think Lamar was lighting lighting up the charts when he first came in. Um, and now you're starting to see somebody else light up the charts. And so um I know a lot of red commanders fans, they're they're afraid they're having like RG3 nightmares. Uh, <laughs> That's so that's yeah. just from what I'm hearing in my circles. You know, it's like, wow, you know, we playing these guys. We got a really good quarterback. He's doing really mm-hmm. well. And I just hope he don't get hurt. And so that's my two cents, bro. That's that's what I got us. Uh if I had to, if I had to put a score out there, I wouldn't be able to. Just got us got us winning. Yeah. Uh, no, I like it. I like it, man. I think it's gonna be one of them high scoring games. I do think this is gonna be a a game of okay, let's put this uh rookie in his place by the Ravens. I think that you know Ravens saw what they did last week against Joe Barrow and put up 38 on your defense. I think you I mean Marlon Humphreys and those guys and uh uh Kyle Hamilton they go in that locker room like yo what was that? Yeah let's nah not this week not this week we can't let a rookie go out there because if Joe Burrow does it okay that's one thing I'm not gonna let a rookie go out there and take the top of us all night. True indeed. I can't. True indeed. I can't do that. You know yeah. what I mean? Baltimore are are they're known for their defensive prowess. Before mm-hmm. Lamar Jackson got there, they've always been known for their defensive prowess. Facts. I'll be damned if I let a rookie come up in here and light it up against my defense. That's the mentality mm-hmm. that I think Baltimore need to have, should have, and we will see if they will have it um, when it's time to suit up. Uh, commanders are four and one. And they're they're hot right now, but I think the Ravens put them in their place, put them in this place. Like yo, nice nice season so far, but here we go. You about to play? You about yeah, to play, I'll uh, pass rush is suspect this year, man. I'll yeah. pass rush is suspect. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. We all got Baltimore on that one. We're gonna move on over to the four o'clocks. We have the Los Angeles Chargers traveling to Denver in the hot Bo Knicks. Right. Four o five. Who you got? Uh, I believe I started with Bruce last time. G, it's on you. No, no, no. I'll take Denver. it back. It was Bruce first Denver. time. It I'll go G, Denver. Yeah. yeah, Denver. Denver. All right. Yep, I'm going Denver. Who you got, Bruce? This is uh, really tough. Denver's playing outstanding defense, and they're not putting too much on the young fella's plate, the young fella being um, Bo Nix. Yeah. Um, If you look at the uh, Chargers injury report, it's – it's a bit long, so I'm concerned about that. Um, uh, Joe Alt uh, is questionable at right tackle. That's st- standing out to me. Um, I don't know if uh, – what's my guy's name? Rashawn Slater. I don't know if he's going to be back. But you don't have if you don't have both of your tackles, that makes it a whole lot more difficult to play football the way Jim Harbaugh wants to play football, play a physical run, dominate the point of attack. But mm-hmm. Denver, um, <clears throat> excuse me, as I said, seems to be doing that really well. Uh, this man, I'm really trying to. Uh, I don't, I don't know. This is almost a pick 'em. It's what you love about the NFL, right? It's, it's really yeah, hard to pick these games, absolutely. but um, I believe that. Uh, hmm. you know what? You know what? I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with the Chargers here. Uh, I believe they're coming off a bye. And Jesse Minter and um, Jim Harbaugh, they're going to have something cooked up to make it difficult on the rookie in terms of uh, trying to contain him and show him some different looks and all that. So uh, I'm going to go. I, I believe in Jesse Minter calling that defense for for the Chargers. And so, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, L.A. on this. OK, this is the pick for me as well. I'm going to go with Denver. Um, I was looking at their uh, injury report earlier. Um, they have a lot of, like like you said earlier, a lot of question, questions right here. Josiah Taylor, cornerback, did not participate in Wednesday's practice. Asante Samuel Jr., questionable, did not participate. Hayden Hurst, questionable, limited participant. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
you said Joe Alt, you know, he was a limited participant in Wednesday's practice. Your quarterback, limited in practice. Deion, uh, Deion, uh, uh, Deion Leonard, Deane Leonard, I'm sorry, limited in practice, questionable to return. So that's three corners I just named off the rip, right? Um, mm-hmm. You also have your linebacker, Joey Bosa, who did not participate in uh, in Wednesday's practice. So he's questionable. That's a lot of injuries. All right. Denzel Perryman, questionable. Uh, another line, Henley, questionable. That's a lot of question marks, right? When you're mm-hmm. known for your defense, you're known for running the ball. When you got that many corners, when you got that many linebackers, I, you know, hurt like that, and you have a defensive, a defensive juggernaut in Denver, I think they can do enough to at least be able to get it done, make it competitive, um, and come away with a closer, man. I think they um, forced Justin Herbert um, to make him throw the ball a little bit more by trying to stop the run and take that run away from Harbaugh, and they can come away with the win. So I got a. Uh, I'm going to roll with Denver on this one. All right. We're going to go to the next 4 o'clock game. <laughs> Nicely timed by week for Chargers. They should run the ball well and win a low-scoring game. I think it's going to be a low-scoring game too, Tyler. I do yeah. think it's going to be a low-scoring game. Two you good know, defensive Chargers, teams. Yeah, two good defensive teams. I just think, you know, just a look, you know, you're coming off of a bye, but how much of that bye did your guys who are currently injured, did they participate? <coughs> I mean, they weren't able to participate in any type of practice, any type of ball game. So they've been sitting on the behind for like a week and a half. So I think a little bit of rust will show. And that's where, the, you know, Denver Broncos can pounce on top of that. Pause. Um, moving on over to the next game, we have Pittsburgh traveling to Las Vegas. Mm. Who we got, Bruce? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah. I think I think the defense is um, just good enough. Uh, I think Justin Fields probably is feeling some pressure. He might be playing for his job here. Um mm-hmm. And uh, Vegas doesn't have a quarterback. They have no idea what their situation is. The mm-hmm. best player that they have, um, he's not going to be playing, obviously, in uh, your guy, uh, Devontae Adams. So I, I don't know what Las Vegas is going to do or what they can do. The best remaining player, player <clears throat> excuse me, on that team is Max Crosby. But, you know, he, he can't score points and sack the quarterback. Well, I guess he could technically get a strip sack and return it. But it's you, you know what I mean, though. Like, yeah, he, he can do what he can do, but. I just don't think Vegas has enough. I just don't. I just think you nailed everything that G was about to say. G, who you got? You ain't gonna Man, say. I that. really want to wish that, wish that both teams could lose. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was, you know, I was gonna see what you gonna say on this one, man. This is gonna be curious. Yeah, yeah. This is a rough one. Um, uh, man. And and with the Steelers, I want them to lose every game, every week, right? <laughs> every year. That's just how I feel. It's so hard to to, to say these words, man. But for the for the for the right, you know, what I mean, for the right to be talking about, you know, a pick them. Um, I gotta go with the Steelers on this one. All right, that's tough. That's tough. And yeah. you got Steve in the chat yeah, saying cool. Raiders. Yeah, when he the Steelers wow. guy. That's interesting. <laughs> Ten thousand percent. He says the Raiders are a lock. I'm telling y'all now. Wow, boy, this that that would be one hell of an upset. I mean, you go three Steve, games, I can't see that, man. three and zero, oh, and then zero <laughs> oh and three. Raiders ain't got nothing to kick them with. <laughs> kick them with. Wow, you, you see Tyler, right? I'm predicting our first Mr. Unlimited. Of offensive very stagnant. <laughs> right. I don't think it happens this week. If it, I believe if it's stagnant by the fourth quarter and the game is close, you may. But I think they let them finish out this game. You don't, you know, unless they're getting beat yeah. bad early, then you can put Russell Wilson in the game. But I think they, they at least let the kid finish out. Um, especially, I mean, like I said, he's not turning over the ball much. Um Last game was just one of them first games where you're looking like, okay, man, I mean, we just need a more, a bigger offensive output out of our quarterback. And I think that's the reason why you're looking at Mr. Unlimited. Um, but yeah, I like, I like Pittsburgh. I, Vegas has nothing for me to be in awe about or give a reason to want to pick them. Pittsburgh still has a top five defense. Mm-hmm. Um, they still got a, a quarterback. I like their quarterback better than your quarterback. I mean, everything mm-hmm. just points to the arrows just point towards uh Pittsburgh running back. Like you're running back better. Um, TJ Watt, I like him over Max Crosby. I mean, I mean, they got everything that's better. So yeah, yeah, Pitt, yeah. Pittsburgh in a uh in a good one. All yeah. right, this next game, I believe this may be NFL game of the week. We have Detroit traveling to Dallas. Mm, Detroit. Ooh, Detroit. G didn't even let me call him. 
Detroit. Any reason yeah. why? Well, why? Why you got Detroit so easy? And they look like a better team. Um, I know, I know they. You know, Dallas kind of toughed it out last week, but yeah. you know that that was the line's not playing like that, man. <laughs> They're not playing with nobody True. out here. Exactly. They, it's not playing, man. Like they punch you in your mouth and they, they mm-hmm. keep it moving, man. I like I like the lines, man. All right, Bruce, who you got? I got Detroit as well. Um, like G said, physical at the point of attack. Arguably the best offensive line in the game. Uh, they can play defense as well. They're not locked down defense, but they're a solid defensive team. Uh, Jared Goff, he gets the protection. He's miles ahead of Dak in my estimation. Um, they're the the Cowboys have no weather advantage because they're playing in they're playing indoors as well. So we know that uh, the Lions pretty much a track team on that on that turf and under a roof. So they're gonna go do that. Um, to G's point. If Dak Prescott mess around and, and give these guys the ball three times, like he gave the Steelers the ball three times, they're going to get blown out. It's mm-hmm. just that the Steelers' offense couldn't take advantage of what um, Dallas was literally trying to give them. So, correct. Um, I, I hate Dallas as well, um, Sid Bubba, but uh, this really has nothing to do with that. It's just I, I feel like Detroit is far and away uh, a better team than the Cowboys. I could be wrong, and you know I'll have no problem admitting it because. At the end of the day, the uh, the pick'em sheets are here, and I'll have to <laughs> if I'm wrong. But mm-hmm. uh, realistically, I just think Dallas is is the far superior team. Yeah, I, I agree with both of you guys. Said Detroit <coughs> has it all in this situation. Receivers, I like the quarterback better. I like the running back better. I like their defense better. I like yeah. the offensive line better. Yo, Every, they they literally have everything better. When Yo. you have everything better, you should win those football games. Uh, right. Just uh, I want to put uh, Steve's uh, comment up here. Uh, <clears throat> Steve, uh, Dallas played horribly and barely beat his pom 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 still is. I'm just gonna say pom pom right now. If they keep mm-hmm. turning the ball over, they ain't winning. Pittsburgh's the only team to win the turnover battle three to zero and lose the game. Pathetic. Da- <coughs> Dallas, you turn the ball over one time, you're getting cooked. I-, I I tell you that right now. That 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 Detroit team offensive offensively is a freaking horse. All right, you have so many weapons, you have so many options. They believe in Dan Campbell so much um, that I think that they, they're willing to go to a ditty party for him. Yeah, you need you mm. need to go to a ditty party for you. We're gonna hold you down. We're gonna be your security at this ditty party, making you safe, make sure you're safe. But that's how much Dan Campbell um believes in his team. And I think he's gonna um coach that team to really come up in Dallas and uh beat it on the biggest stage. Where do you want to beat Dallas the most on their stage, right? Yes. You know it's prime time. You know that stadium is amazing. It is freaking mm-hmm. a sight. It is a That's right. freaking experience to be in that stadium. I think Detroit comes in there with that mindset. Um, another week they're going to be without Demarcus Lawrence and Micah Parsons, Parsons. with yeah. an offensive Great line point. that is already a problem to deal with anyway. Now you really can't even get to them. So I think nope. I think it could easily be a blowout. If Dallas turns that ball over one time, there it's going to be a blowout for Detroit. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I got I got Detroit in the landslide. Mm-hmm. Um, moving on to the last game, <laughs> last four card game. We got transfer. This is my bringing up Diddy Parties. Come on, man. you try to tell us some transformer. Uh, listen, huh? man, if, if they come to get you, man, the, hey, I got nothing to do with it. You just a podcast L- host, man. L- listen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just a podcast host, bro. Like, I, hey, I, I had no idea. Don't come look hey, at look, me. man. Ain't no party like a Diddy party. All right, let's move on. There he goes again. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you and Braun, huh? Yeah, all right. Huh? Nah, you see, uh, no, Braun wasn't Braun wasn't there yet. I think I think he got there late. Uh, oh, I was. Yeah, I was. I was. I was early. Ooh. Me and Tank. I was with Tank. With uh, Tank. Wow. Tank, Tank Davis. You know when he picked <laughs> him up, I was like, yo. <laughs> then Tank looked at him crazy, like, yo, man, what's this? What's this guy doing? I'm like, bro, Tank, just come over here, bro. <laughs> let Diddy, let Diddy, Diddy be wild. All right, keep playing around and catch that body blow. <laughs> catch that body. Catch that. Catch, catch that, that liver that shot, like <laughs> like Ryan Garcia. Like Ryan Garcia. <laughs> hey. All right. Uh, uh, hey, moving on to the last. Huh? <laughs> I said, what did he say? start clapping and twirling. He start clapping and twirling, yo. Yeah, what was that? <laughs> he might have to put that. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, yo, yo. Yo. <laughs> uh, What's wrong, me? Some wild people in the world, man. Crazy work. Crazy that's that's work. wild, man. Yeah, that party like a Diddy party, the baby oil James. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. 
<laughs> another one. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> finish up these picks here, guys. All yes. right. We have Atlanta. Uh-huh. In um Atlanta uh, traveling to Carolina. Mm-hmm. Who we got, Bruce? Do we need to do this? Nope. All right. Okay. Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta. Got it. We're gonna yes, move sir. on over <laughs> to eight o'clock. <laughs> we're, gonna, <laughs> oh, we're gonna move on over to eight o'clock. Uh the eight o'clock primetime game is gonna be Joe Burrow and the upset Bengals traveling to New York and mm-hmm. uh surprisingly winning New York right? Giants. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who you got, bro? Uh, G Giants got it. All right. Why the Giants? Giants. Yeah. yeah. I have a feeling that pick is a little bit like self-serving. Yeah. Any, yeah. Anytime I see AFC North, I just right, 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 right. What y'all say is a feeling. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. Yeah. It's a feeling. I'll take that. That's all I can take. True indeed. So you really are going to pick the Giants, though? Yeah. Okay. I figured. Yeah. I, already had <clears> fact. I just wanted to be sure. All right, Bruce, who you got? Um, I am going to go here with um the Bengals. Uh so the crazy thing is this this football team is one in four, but they're a good football team, right? If that makes any sense. They're, like they're losing the these best games. one in fours you've ever seen. Yeah. It's, right? Right. I think I heard Travis Kelsey say that, but uh, not Travis. Did he Jason say that? Kelsey, uh, Jason Kelsey. Um oh the brother. Yeah, the brother. Uh-huh. Okay. The one who just retired. But yeah, but yeah, yeah, I mean, their offense is crazy. Joe Burrow is balling out of his freaking mind. He's only had one bad game so far this season, but the defense is not holding up its end of the bargain. And so that's what's uh, causing them to lose these football games. But with the same token, the Giants are a better team than people think, right? The Giants yeah. are not terrible. Um, obviously, the, the commanders are the class of the NFC East, but the Giants aren't bad, right? And um, But with all of that said, I'm definitely going to go with uh, Cincinnati here. I just... Yeah. I think they have a little too much, you know? Yeah. Um, like you said, uh, <laughs> Bengals, they're probably the best one in four team I've ever seen. Right? They're good. Like, you're like they're good. every week, you're like, damn, man, they could they, they should win this game, right? Mm-hmm. But then you look at the you look at the end. I mean, Burrow gives you 25 points, defense mm-hmm. gives up 26. Mm-hmm. Burrow gives you 33, defense gives defense up 38. Gives yeah. We, yeah. We beat Carolina. We had to put up 34 because the defense mm-hmm. gave up 24 against right. Carolina. Joe Burrow puts up 38. Defense gives up 41. It's like, yo, mm-hmm. defense, do something. <laughs> like, do something. A little help, please. A little do help, something, here, please. bro. Like, yeah, come on. Yeah, no those doubt. are good numbers. I mean, 25, 33, 34, 38. Those are your scores on the off from the offensive side of the ball that you've had over the last four games. Like you said, he had one bad game. That was the first game back uh against New England, in which they also indeed did indeed did did indeed lost. There you go. Trying mm-hmm. to say that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I, I mean, I got no other reason to pick the Bengals on this one. You're extremely desperate. If you're any bit of what you're supposed to be, then you're going to go yeah. in this game and you're yeah. head hunting. You're you're you're, mm-hmm. you're coming for somebody. Um, so I think That's they right. definitely win this game. I think it's a, I think it's going to be a landslide. Honestly, I think they they're going to want to cook New York on prime time because they know that everybody's watching. Oh yeah, 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 everybody's yeah. watching. Sunday yeah. night game out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, moving up on over to Monday, we're gonna have. Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills traveling to the Robert Salalas New York Jets at 8.15 on Monday. <sighs> Without being recency, recent bias here, right, uh, Bruce, right, right. who do you got? Um, The Jets. I like and it. the reason I have the Jets is, well, uh, last couple games, Josh Allen hasn't been playing great. Uh, the Jets are still, I think, a top five defensive team overall, so they can still do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, from all reports, they have a lot of respect and really like um, the interim head coach, the defensive coordinator. And also, a lot of times when you see a guy get fired in season, the team kind of rallies around that interim head coach for a couple of games. Doesn't mean that he'll be the guy going yeah, forward and he'll get him a Super Bowl and all that, yeah. but they kind of they, they get rah-rah for that interim coach for a couple of games. And so I think this could be one of those games. Uh-huh. And I think the Jets uh, go ahead and win this and at least for the moment vindicate the dismissal of Robert Sala. I think it's going to go bad down the road, but for the moment, you know, 
it may look like the right decision. All right, G. The Bills. The Bills? Yeah. I like it. What, the anti-Josh Allen picked the Bills? Interesting. Yeah, pick the Bills. Okay, hmm. he, did, he did pick the Bills. Okay. Now, this one this one is also an interesting game, right? You have Buffalo, mm-hmm. who are currently on a two-game slid, right? Uh, Josh Allen hasn't looked good in his last two games. Um, no. So right now he's like, okay, I need to look good. Sorry to tell you, bro, this week is not the week you want to look good. I think he wanted to hey, tell, hey, tell coach, hey, man, let's run the football 35, mm-hmm. 40 times. Make sure I pass yeah. it as less as possible. That's right. Right. I think the Jets are upset. All right. They have they have something to prove. Right. They have multiple things to prove. Prove that we wasn't a Robert Solo away. All right. Defense is mm-hmm. going to step up like, yo, look, Aaron, it's now on you. And I think you're going to get probably one of the best Aaron games you're going to get this year because mm-hmm. he wants to prove also like, dang, all the eyes are on me. Yeah, I got yeah. Robert fired. Right. Mm, I left Nat Hackett. He's still here. Oh, yep. only because he's my friend, even though we've been losing because we can't get anything done offensively. But the offensive coordinator gets to stay because he's my friend. Mm-hmm. Mm, me, me, Matt. Hey, me, hey, Nat, bro, we're going to have to get it. We got to show this out. Weekend. We got to <laughs> yeah. show out, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All them picks, all them players you got to pick for us in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. We need to run those now. Right, <laughs> right, right. Run those now. Show so some. I think I, I definitely think that the Jets are cooking up a game because you have to show out the night after or two nights or three nights. Today's Wednesday. Okay. The week after you mm-hmm. just fired your head coach. Absolutely. Right. So, I mean, we're going to get into more than uh, Robert Sala in the next topic here. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is actually kind of perfect because this is the last game on our weekly pickup. That is perfect. Um, That's a nice we're talking segue. About, and we're talking about the Jets right now. But I, I think, you know, we're going to get – like I said, we're going to get more into it. I think the Jets are going to fly in this game. Like, yo, we got to win this game. Um, mm-hmm. and, and Buffalo, I'm, if I'm Josh Allen, bro, run the ball 35 times and try to – Try to see if you can pick them apart with play action and pray for the best that you know mm-hmm. these defenses are trying to take your head off. So all right. yeah, we all got the Jets except Gino. Gino has the Bills. Surprising. Got it. Yeah, all I just look. Friends. I looked at it. Uh, I looked at it because you know you fire your coach and you got everybody's pretty much saying it's going to be a close one. Um, that's when your game management come in. You know that that's where the coaching aspect is at its best, right? Like when you got close games. Challenging flag, challenging plays. Not saying that this guy was good because it was bad, right? But you have somebody that's, uh, you know, pretty much probably be a walk on or an uh, interim coach coming in. Um, if you the Bills, this is definitely a must win for you, just as much as it is for the for the Jets. And so, yeah, even though the defense on the field it looks it looks like a mismatch, you still got Josh Allen who is in the top ten when it comes to um, quarterbacks. But then Aaron Rodgers kind of canceled that out, and so. The other aspects of it is like, what are they going to do on on the ground, right? And is their defense going to be able to stop the Jets? The Jets haven't been putting up a lot of a lot of um offense. I mean, as far as like uh, Aaron Rodgers haven't been putting up a lot of points, and so for me, the Bill pick was just based off of that in itself. They they've been playing like shit all year, and yeah. um, I don't think it's going to get better because they fired a coach. I like it. I like it. All right, guys, that's your week six. Uh, let us let us know what you guys think of our picks. Um, upset. Do we got any upsets this week? What's our biggest? What's our biggest uh, uh, I don't upset think so. this week? I think uh, we all picked uh, off the off the line, really. Yeah, it looks like chalk for the most part. I don't I don't yeah. really see any upsets. I mean, they'll. I mean, I got Jacksonville over Chicago. If you want to call that an upset, I don't know, man. Would we call that an upset? I mean, they're three and two, one and four. Last week, all the games was pretty much close last week, man, except for the yeah. ones that we knew was just going to be a, a beat down. So it's like you never know. It's any given Sunday still. Yeah. Uh-huh. Cleveland got cooked. That was like the only beat down that happened last week. folks <laughs> <laughs> got cooked. Steve has, Steve has the Raiders. As Raiders over Steelers. Steelers. And he's Steelers. the Steeler fan. I kind of want to make this bet now. He knows something that we don't. Hey man, I, you know what? I respect the fact that even though he's a Steelers fan, he can be objective about it uh, in terms of what he sees. But I don't, uh, I don't, I, I don't see that. Yeah. No. All right. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Bruce, take it away. I believe we're gonna open up the phone lines. Definitely gonna open up the phone lines. That number is uh, in the chat: 904-219-8264. 904-219-8264. It's also scrolling on the bottom of your screen. So. 
Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Go ahead, give us a call, and uh, yeah, let's get it. Now, no four two one nine eight two six four. You love crazy you, voice, bro? Like, come on, man. You got one job, literally one job. Just, just like Aaron Rodgers, you got one job. There's something wrong with you. You know that, right? <laughs> well, you know, you're just hanging around. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell me we're not gonna go on the road and beat the Raiders <laughs> ever. What's your record? What's your right? What's your road record against the Raiders? I want to let me look at that. What's the Steelers record? Right and it begins. The faith in still in uh fields is starting to leave. <laughs> Almost like clockwork, bro. We said week six. Week six. That's what that's what we said. Week six. We're gonna start seeing Russell. I thought he was gonna be in there before, but let me see. I'm looking it up now, Steve. Give me a right? second. Like, right. Steve, Steve going back to right? the 70s or something? Going back to the Super Bowl era? What's going on? Here, man? <laughs> Said, man, right, look it up. We do not the Raiders. the Raiders. What faith? There never was faith, G. Promos. You get that. Now you that. I love uh, prom Oh, promise. I'm pretty sure it's probably promise. Yeah, I think, it's, I think if he, he get benched, that might be the last time we see Phils again in this league. The Steelers yeah. are one and four against the Raiders <laughs> on the road between September 12th, 2004, until September 12th, 2024. So one and four in the last 20 years. Hmm. One Interesting and four. Stat. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The, Raider, well. the Raiders are 14 and 12. Against the Steelers all time. Nah, Tyler, apparently not. Uh looks like the Steelers haven't beaten the Ravens on the road in the last two decades. So I guess not. Um all right, let's go ahead and uh you already do this, move to the next topic and uh uh see what's going on with the Jets and uh good old Robert Siles. Well, <laughs> <laughs> We're right on target, Bruce. We're right on target, Bruce. 